Hi, I'm Vashu. Welcome to the another video of product auction app for Shopify by Webcool. So guys, in this particular video, we will see how to create a auction for the products available on your store on Shopify. And we will see how the customer can place the bid. But before this, guys, if you want to hide the price of the product and the buy now button and add to cart button on your product page, then you need to paste some code that are available on the product auction app. So let's check and see how to do this and before proceeding i request you to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for more updates so let's move to the product auction app so guys this is our shopify store and first you need to open the product auction app under the app section so let's check how to create an auction you need to go to the auction tab first then to create a new auction, you need to click on the add auction from here. And guys, uh, first you need to select the product from here. So here's the list of product and you can select one of them. And you can also select the multiple products from here as well, if you wish. Then the next one is the automatic start auction. So by enabling this, the auction will start automatically at the given date and time. Okay, so here you need to give the time duration. So let's select the 14th Feb and the time will be 11.37 and let's select the end date of the auction. So as we have configured the 14th of Feb starting date, so let's check the 22 at the ending and select the timing at the same time. The next one is the pricing okay so the first one is the base price the second one is the reserve price so base price from this you can set your product base price and from the price where the bidding will be start so this is the starting amount of the bidding that you need to enter uh, so let's enter the 10 usd here and the reserve price this is the target auction bidding price where your product bidding should be reached so this is the condition as well like a 100 the next one is bidding increment rule okay so you need to create a rule for the increment gap so let's create a range first from 0 to 50 the increment gap will be of 5 let's create another one from 50 to 100 the increment cap should be of 10 at this you can create multiple bidding increment rules from here the next one is the proxy bidding that is automatic bidding and another one is the popcorn bidding so these two biddings are the most important so we will check and see the functionality of both the bidding in the next video because this is only for the auction that how to create auction normal option so there are two options are available save and save and start so if you click on save it will start at the configured time at 11 37 am ist and if you click on save and start it will start immediately after saving so let's start and save yes proceed So guys, now the auction has been created. Okay. So let's check how it looks like on the front end. So guys, we have successfully created an auction for the product. And now if you want to hide the price of the product and the quantity select on the product page, uh, the add to cart buy now button on the product page, you need to paste some code. So let's check from where you can get the basic codes of all these. So guys, you need to go to the configure front end section. And here you will get the list of all the codes of this app, just like a auction block on the product page. You can check it here that it will look like this. It's a widget for the auction that will appear on the product page. For this, you need to paste the code. The second one code is for the hide, add to cart button on the product page. This is the optional. If you wish, you can. The next one is view your bid button on the customer page. 
display auction timer and bids on collection page just like here you can check it it will look like this show menu of our product auction uh, let's check a preview so here with the menu created with the auction product on the menu bar and there are the instructions are also given that how to paste the code just like a section main product dot liquid file section main product dot liquid file and if you want so our team will help you in this as well so let's check the front end that how it look like after the code pasting so guys this is our home page of the front end and we have created a menu for the auction page so let's check so we have created a this auction sunset painting okay and this is the running auction currently these auctions are running and we have already created three more uh, sea painting painting and tree painting and as you can see on the sea painting auction there is a number of bids current bid highest bidder okay and this is because the one of the customer has placed a bid already that's why it is showing like this and on the above rest of the three there is no bid placed yet so let's check the product page of this so guys this is how it look like a uh, bid and date days remaining time calculator starting bidding amount there is no bids yet usd 10 reserve price not met yet okay and the minimum bidding amount allowed to 10 hide identity from bidders you can hide as a customer so if you want to place a bid just like a 20 as a customer and if you click on the place my bid are you sure want to place the bid then click on the yes and it will redirect to the login page because uh, you are not logged in yet as a customer so there is no guest login as of now that you can continue with as a you need to log in first only after that you can start bidding so log in the first and then so as i have logged in now i need to see i have placed the bid of 20 usd now and the minimum bidding amount allowed to us is 25 now because as per the increment rule there should be an increment of five dollar so now i can place a bid of 25 here and click on the place my bid Now the current bid is 25 and two bids have been placed. So guys, this video is all about the how to create an auction via product auction app for Shopify by Webcool. So if you still have any further query, you can mail us at support at the rate webcool.com. Also, you can create a ticket webcool.uvdex.com. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like our video. Thank you.